I'll bet you a hundred dollars. They have Christmas trees in there. They don't have Christmas trees. A hundred. I'm about to make a hundred dollars. Like a full size Christmas tree. Yes. <laughs> It's Raven, and as you can tell by the title, I am going to be doing Vlogmas this year. This is going to be my first time ever doing Vlogmas, and in case you don't know what Vlogmas is, it's basically a thing here on YouTube where YouTubers will post a vlog every single day leading up till Christmas in December. I'm actually not going to be doing every single day. I'm going to be doing every other day just because I didn't want to die with that much editing and uploading so today that you're watching this video is going to be Sunday so every other day I'm going to be uploading a new vlog so it's gonna be Sunday Tuesday Thursday and just continuing on every other day until Christmas and we're just gonna be vlogging I mean I'm gonna be sharing my daily life with you guys but I'm also gonna be doing some fun holiday stuff Christmas stuff you know making it nice and festive so I'm really excited this is my first time doing vlogmas and hopefully it goes well and I'm really gonna try and stick to uploading a new vlog every other day so I just wanted to let you guys know so you guys can keep your eyes peeled and stay tuned every other day but today today is Saturday that I'm filming this and we kind of just had like a leisurely Saturday morning I woke up made me and Zaya breakfast. I had avocado toast. She had some toast and some fruit. So I said this on Snapchat already, but I have been drinking my own chai tea lattes from home because I always get chai tea lattes from Starbucks. But I was like, let me try and find something I can make at home so that I'm not just constantly, you know, spending money at Starbucks. And I discovered these, um, Tazo chai tea cartons and they come in different flavors. Also, I know people hate when you say chai tea because chai means tea, so it sounds like you're saying tea tea, which is like redundant and not correct, but like, I bought one that was like a caramel something fancy flavor and then I bought one that was just like a regular flavor and this is actually the regular one. So the one I was drinking before was actually like a caramel flavor and it was really good. So we'll see how this one tastes. I guess it's just probably just not as sweet. Put some ice. And this is just like the concentrated tea mix. So you just open that and you do half of this and you mix it with half of whatever milk you wanna use. Vanilla almond milk for me. I'm just gonna add a pump of this vanilla syrup. Torani little vanilla syrup stuff that you like can add to coffee and stuff like that. You can even get yourself a green straw to pretend like you're at Starbucks. Stir it up a little bit and this one came out perfect. This tastes exactly like what I order at Starbucks. DIY, chai tea latte. <laughs> Try it at home, girls. Is it good? A little sour? Hmm. Chew it good so you don't choke. <laughs> Is it good? And then my mom and my little sister are actually here in my house right now. Zaya is downstairs with my mom, if you're wondering. And my mom came over because, in case you guys don't know, my mom is also my manager. So we had a little um, momager meeting session this morning to plan my uh, content calendar, talk about business and brand deals and all that stuff that she helps me with behind the scenes. And also just planning everything for Vlogmas this month because this was an extremely last minute decision to actually do Vlogmas. So we had to hurry up and plan everything um, this morning. So she came over to help me with that as well as my little sister is here because when she's home from college, for the holidays and for the summer, I like to hire her as basically like my assistant or my intern or whatever to just help me with um, YouTube and business related tasks and just other things behind the scenes. So she was here helping to actually make mystery boxes. As you guys probably know, I do mystery box Monday. So real quick, in case you guys didn't know, if you are new to my channel or whatever, I do this thing called mystery box Monday, where I take a lot of products that I receive because I get a lot of makeup and stuff in PR. And of course I will never be able to use all of these products myself. I have quite a bit of makeup already. And 
and hair care and skin care and just all types of stuff so I really want to share these products with you guys and not just hoard them so what I do is I create these boxes right here that are full of a variety of mystery products so you can get makeup you can get hair care skin care and I basically fill these boxes up so that is what my sister is helping me do right now she's starting to fill up the boxes with all of this product right here and all you have to do is be an active follower active supporter on my social media so youtube comments instagram twitter anywhere that you want to show love if i notice you and notice that you are supporting me i will basically just send you a message so i can get your address and send you a box it's really simple but if you guys want more information on how you can win one of these boxes just check the description box down below and now Maya is just finishing up uh, washing my makeup brushes that was her other task that I hired her to do my mom has Zaya downstairs I just got myself dressed and I got Zaya dressed and we are all about to go to the store because I decided to kick off vlogmas let's do something Christmassy let's get in the Christmas spirit today is December 1st um, I want to get a Christmas tree. I wasn't going to get a Christmas tree or really do much Christmas decorating here in my house, in the townhouse, for one, because we celebrate Christmas at my mom's house, and my mom's house has like the big Christmas tree where all the presents go under the tree, and then we go over there to celebrate and open presents, so I'm like, do I really need a tree of my own? But then for two, I was kind of like holding out because... I was kind of like waiting until next Christmas because I'll be in the new house next Christmas and I'm like then I can go all out next Christmas in the new house and really do like the full shebang with decorating my house for Christmas so I wasn't really gonna do anything this year in this townhouse but I was like you know what let's get in the Christmas spirit let's at least try to get like a little Christmas tree or something my first Christmas tree because I've never had like a real Christmas tree of my own here's Maya by the way she just finished um washing my makeup brushes how was that horrible, <laughs> horrible. she just washed all of these brushes you guys so these are the type of little tasks that I like pay her to do just to take some stuff off of my plate when she's here. So she just finished that. And like I said, my mom is down here with Zaya. So we are about to go shopping. Oh, she got a big roll of uh, bubble wrap to uh, use for the Mystery Box Monday packages and stuff. And also because we are shipping the big 1 million giveaway prizes, the MacBook, iPad, iPhone, all that stuff that I gave away for my 1 million giveaway. We of course picked the winners. All the winners responded. So now we are about to ship all of those out. Me and Zaya are matching today. I have my um, maroon colored Adidas uh, sweater thing on and she has some maroon colored matching striped sweatpants. Hers are actually just from Walmart, they're not Adidas, but they actually match perfectly. So this is what I'm working with. It's kind of hard to see because it's backlit, but this is my little sad Christmas tree setup. I just um, hung up my little DIY wall tree decoration you can't even see it but i did a video on this last year on how to make this little wall tree thingy um and i just hung this up because it was in my garage just looking sad on the floor so i was like let me just hang this up again this year and i just put these little glitter uh what do you call these reindeer things and that was pretty much going to be the extent of my christmas decorating but i think we deserve to get a real Christmas tree instead of this, this year, and try to be a little bit more festive and merry for Christmas. You wanna get a real Christmas tree, Zaya? All right, first stop is actually Office Depot, the little FedEx center inside of Office Depot to go ahead and ship out these giveaway prizes, like I just said. This is the Raven Elise TV business squad. <laughs> My sister coming and my mom and <laughs> coming to you live and crusty. This is how I uh, run my business, you guys. This is the team. This is how we do things behind the scenes. When you got a two-year-old, sometimes you just gotta 
get a little extra help from your fam to get stuff done because it is sometimes impossible to keep her entertained, keep her corralled, and do stuff like ship packages. Got the MacBook. I'm gonna write a little note to the winner. Dun, 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 dun. And then we are going to ship it out. My hair is drying and poofing up. We made a quick pick stop at Texican Cafe for some lunch, late lunch, because we are starving. It's 3.30, me and Maya like haven't eaten all day. And yeah, it's 3.30, the day has just gone by. Zaya is like skipping her nap right now, so we're getting to very grumpy time, not good time, um, not good attitude time with Zaya right now. But we're trying to keep her entertained with chips and a coloring page and ordered her a quesadilla. We'll see if she'll eat that. And then we still haven't even gone to the store to actually look at the Christmas tree yet. So we're just trying to make it. I'll show you the tree I was thinking about and you may hate it, but I thought of you when I saw it. And it is... Is it that one right there? Because it's ugly. <laughs> It's gold. We, that is, ew. What? Yellow. It's not gold. a good shade of gold. So we're at HEB. This is the tree that my mom saw earlier that she thought I might like because it's gold. I think it's kind of an ugly shade of gold and I just don't know how I feel about a gold Christmas tree as much as I like gold. Black balls. What? Pink and black? What is wrong with you? Look at this price tag. $400? Are you out of your mind? You can pay $300 for an off. Tree. What? I thought they were like $79. You don't want to see $79. I literally thought they were less than $100 for something like this. This is not worth $400 of my money. I'm sorry. The real trees. Do you agree that tree is ugly? Okay. They've got the real Christmas trees. Wait, is this real? Yes. $130. These are big. I do not have space for this in my house whatsoever. Like Maya, go stand by that tree for size reference. It's about as tall as Maya, but it's kind of fat. Like I don't even have space for that. And I don't really like the smell of it, to be oh, honest. I, love <laughs> I think that would bother me in the house. $79. Yeah, see, $79. That's a reasonable price. I mean, it is a real tree, so it's gonna die, but like, if I was into the whole real tree thing, I would get something like this. But I really think that smell would really bother me. I just realized I really don't like the smell of Christmas trees. So, definitely need a fake one. So, we are going to Target to look at the other smaller fake trees. I'm thinking just like a nice little small skinny like maybe a white one mm. or just a regular <laughs> green one you don't like white but you like that ugly gold one and you wanted to put like pink it. and black like ornaments it. on it i personally didn't like it i just thought you liked gold so go for gold trees mm. not really like does home goods have trees mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. yes they do they don't have no christmas trees. i bet you one thousand dollars that they got some trees in there do you want to make a one thousand dollar bet $100. I'll bet you $100. I should have. <laughs> Shake my hand. Oh, they don't have Christmas trees. They have Christmas trees in there. They don't have Christmas trees. hundred. I'm about to make $100. Like a full size Christmas tree? Yes. A Christmas tree that you can put presents underneath. I bet. I Wow, watch. I'm about to make $100 today, you guys. I should have bet a thousand. Saw it here first. We can go in Home Goods first and let me make this quick $100. Get ready to lose your money. They're not for sale. Einstein. I bet you. Oh, what is that? What is this? What is that? They're not for I sale. <laughs> I see a price tag. I see a price tag on this Christmas tree. You think it's not for sale? Oh. You think this full grown full size oh well for $4 oh well it's but really and it comes fully furnished okay well i guess you won give me my dot money. me hundred dollars <laughs> i can't carry you i like that 
I like that it's pre-frosted, pre-lit. It already has the lights connected to it. <laughs> okay, well for reference, this tree next to it is 249. I would hope that one would be a little bit less. Oh, it's 249. Why is it so expensive? I did not think that this stuff was that expensive. But anyways, I won my $100, so that's all that counts for this store. On to Target. This is cute, a little mini tinsel tree. Chip and Joanna, I love them. A little robotic Santa climbing the ladder. You got stickers. It's on sale, it's on sale. It's really 300 and it's 210. It's flopped. Does it come However, with the lights on it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. On sale yeah. for 210. Yeah, it's got these big lights. You like these big funky lights? Uh, but then there's this one over here if you want to be a little less extra. Oh, look, a little small little rose gold one. Uh -huh. Maybe this is more my speed. A little small, little skinny, sparkly. Has the lights built in. Built in. More traditional, regular green. Lights built in as well. Also $84, seven foot tree. I think that's about as big of a tree as I can really work with right now. That one's 140. It looks more realistic. It has like the little extra texture to it. That one's nice. 140. I don't think you want like one of these teensy tiny ones. I just, I mean, because I'm thinking, where am I going to put it? Ooh, um. I, it would be nice to put it where my little wall, like move that end table and yeah. put it where the little wall tree is. So this like barely fits. That'll fit. That'll be fine. Cause you're gonna bring the presents under stuff. Well, what? You just move your stuff. Like for your new house. This one will go like in a different room. In the, It'll like, just be like a little mini extra tree. It won't be the main tree. Top of the stairs. I feel like you should take it that. Like, do you want? This one is really nice because it, like the actual texture of it looks really realistic and it's like the, I don't know, it just has like a more, I don't know what you would call it, chic feeling to it. I would either get the blocked one for 210 or this one for 140. This one is 38 inches wide, but you don't like the lights on the block. Not that much, not for 210. That's a lot of money for something that I'm not in love with. Honestly, right now I'm deciding between being being cheap and temporary and just getting this sparkly one that's $84, a little tiny sparkly one. And you know, you're gonna have presents in your house. You don't wanna, you can't put any presents under that thing. Why not? This is like, cause we're either going down one route where it's like, this is just my little temporary tree for this year. I'm not trying to do like a real tree. Or, we're going all out and doing the real tree, the other one over there. It's small, but a real tree. You think the wall tree looks silly right now? Basically. <laughs> you know like my wall tree? I mean, you know, we're, we're leveling up. We're just not like, oh, let's just do something super temporary just like the wall tree. We're gonna do This is one step above the wall tree. You guys comment down below. Should I do something kind of small and temporary like this? This is still cute, okay? This is cute for my little town home right now. And then next year we're gonna do like the big thing. $84, rose gold, or this one. $140, it's bigger, it's seven and a half feet tall, and it's like really realistic looking. Are you really gonna be decorating two full-blown trees in your house? Next year? <laughs> yes. Maya thinks I should get the rose gold tree. My mom thinks I should get the bigger green tree. Especially if, like, are you having I'm honestly Christmas? just being tree cheap. I don't, I, this is stressing me out. <laughs> this is not fun anymore. <laughs> you have to get it for Christmas if you want something like that. What is it? Um, can you hold it? No. We're not getting toys today. You have to put on your Christmas wish list, boo boo. These are our generation. They're kind of like American girls, I guess. With all these little places. Ooh, look at this Jeep. This is cool, it has a surfboard on it. They have all these play sets, a sewing machine, fashion designer sets, a whole classroom. They got boys too. Is this gonna be Zaya's new thing? You like that, Zaya? Ooh, they're having a seafood boil. Mukbang? 
That's cool, Zaya. We can't open it. We gotta take get it for Christmas and get it for Christmas Day under the tree. You have to ask Santa. You gonna ask Santa for that? Yeah, but we can't get it today. Not today. Okay, we are back from shopping. Zaya is right behind me having some crackers because she was having a literal mental breakdown by the time we were leaving Target, which is completely my fault because with everything going on today and deciding to start vlogging this last minute, we completely skipped Zaya's nap time. She did not take a nap and that is just an absolute recipe for disaster when Zaya does not have her afternoon nap. She has a mental breakdown by four o'clock. So she was losing it, crying, falling out on the floor. So we're at home now. Um, my mom and my sister went back to my mom's house and they just dropped us off. Zaya is having a snack so she can calm down. And um, as you saw on Target, I did not buy a Christmas tree because I could not decide what kind of vibe I was going for or which one I wanted to get. So I thought I would include you guys in the decision process. So go ahead and comment down below or maybe I'll actually, I can put a poll in the video, right? Look for a poll or just comment down below on whether you think I should get this Christmas tree, which is like a smaller rose gold, a little temporary, something fun and quirky and not too much of a big deal or too serious or too expensive. Just for right now, just for a while, you know, we're in the town home. Or do you think I should get this other Christmas tree, which is more of like a legit, regular green Christmas tree. It's bigger, it's more expensive, it's more so like doing the full shebang. I just don't know which vibe I'm feeling or if I really wanna like go all out or not. So I'm gonna let you guys decide. I'm gonna check your comments on this video, see what you guys decide, and then maybe in the next vlog for vlogmas episode two we will go back to target and buy the tree and buy the ornaments and decorate we also have to decorate the actual big main tree at my mom's house because that's like the real important christmas tree because that's where we actually celebrate christmas so we're going to be going to my mom's house to decorate as well at some point and just for vlogmas in general this month i have a lot of fun holiday like stuff planned, holiday activities and holiday themed vlogs that I wanna do. So definitely stay tuned. Like I said, I will be posting vlogs every other day leading up until Christmas. So make sure you're checking back on my channel every other day for all of my Vlogmas vlogs. I hope you guys are excited that I'm doing Vlogmas. And yeah, we will see you guys, not tomorrow, but the next day in the next vlog. <laughs> What? Down below. Down below. Tell them to comment down below. Down below. And thumbs up the video. And subscribe. And subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs>